for sure all countries need to uh, to refurbish the houses because uh, bigger tenants today they have, of course they have a, what is the price what is the location how is the com how is the uh, local transportation and then uh, but now the thing is are your environment healthy do you build the right way what kind of material and then so it, it's 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 a demand which are coming higher and higher up on the list not only in Denmark Sweden Germany whatever I think will be a, a Europe wide Thing. If we look at projects, for instance, like uh, Seal City, refurbishment of a, of a bigger former industrial complex, these um, integration of former waters used in quite another way are the, the most important chances for urban developments in the future. For the uh, investors, it will be necessary that there are a lot of aspects that are beyond economic reasons and conditions. They should be able to organize processes more in communication with other aspects than they had nowadays. If you look at uh, a Utrecht, that's truly a refurbishment in, in itself. And um, you know, one of the biggest lessons is that it, it can be done, and it can be done in a very successful way. But the users feel that they, uh, the, the landlord uh, actually cares for them, and I think that's very important. Uh, you should, if you want to do something like this, you should it, do it with a, a vision in mind that you really want the best place to work. And how do we get the best place to work? And that's to make, uh, yeah, to make your, your the, the people who work in the building aware of what's happening and what can be done. And, and they did a good job with that in uh, in West Raven. The challenge uh, is uh, not only the, to reuse it, but the challenge is to combine those what. Uh, buildings and those conditions that are existing with the new ideas of um, uh, other techniques. Normally shopping centers are getting older and older by natural way. But with these green building aspects and all these, these demands, uh, they're getting older much faster. Which is the answer to the question, do they need to do something? Yes, they really need to do something. But it's difficult to be a shop owner and admit that we don't want so many cars, less cars means less customers, less customers means less turnover. So I think we have quite a long way to go. The landlord has to work very really closely with the community in order to secure better bus lines, better train, I mean all this, uh, this uh, um, non-pollutive uh, uh, transportation. I mean we're all talking about fly less, uh, use the train more, Electric, electric cars and and and. If the city development do not live up to the standards, you can't do it, no. It will be impossible. If you cannot make a business case, it will be tough, especially in these economic decisions, uh, in, especially in these economic times, to make a CEO or a CFO decide to go for a green lease or for a refurbishment. But if you actually can show them that it's, that it's good business and it's, it's, it's working uh, according to your ethical standards together, yeah, that, that makes the opportunity. Investors today really do ask, is it uh, built in the right, is it sustainable, uh, are the tenants aware of it? I mean, all the questions you, we just have been through now is, is on the buyer's list. So uh, we, we must come out to some kind of direction and some kind of solution, yes.